Okay, this brief tutorial is going to show you how to set up some of the elements of the site theme by WP Shower. Their sample website is set up at site.wpshower.com, so you can see some of the elements we're going to modify. First off, we're going to learn about modifying this logo slash site title, then also this scrolling banner up here, and lastly, how to modify the text in the footer. Okay. So I recommend having the sample site up, also a tab with your site that has this theme installed on it. I'm using one of my test domains called amazebox.com. And then lastly, let's have the dashboard of your WordPress site open. Okay, so first off, we'll go to appearance, and then theme options, and this is after site is already installed on your WordPress site. Once here, you'll see where they have their site logo. And it says it's a max of 290 pixels by 128 pixels. So this is where you're going to upload your own logo and site title. So I've already made a test image, and I'm just going to press Upload Your Logo. And then I'm going to navigate to the place on my computer where I have it stored and open that up. I'm going to go ahead and press Edit. And then I'm going to copy this file URL over here. I'm pressing Command-C on my Mac to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to Appearance theme options and I am going to paste in the URL of that logo okay you can also change the background color disable the slideshow that is on the home page which is this you can add your Google Analytics code and a few other things here like changing the timing of the slideshow but I'm just gonna press save changes for now alright now I'm gonna go to the sample site that I've installed and refresh to see if our logo took place our logo change took place and indeed it did okay so now we've changed the logo let's work on getting this home page to look like the site home page back in our WordPress dashboard what you want to do is go to appearance and then customize so really quickly drop down the site title and tagline and change this to whatever you want it to be I'm gonna say WordPress tutorials by Regina I'm pretty awesome so you have your site title and tagline which is good for search engine optimization and will appear in people's search results. Then we have a static front page option. Right now our front page is set to a static page and it is on the home page. We want to change that to a page that shows your latest post, okay? Because what this is up here, this slideshow, this is actually your latest post. If I were to click on one of these, it would take me to a blog post that has been written. Okay? So if I want to set my homepage up like their homepage, I'm going to have all of my latest posts populating on the homepage like they do. And I'm going to set up this slideshow based on my latest post. Okay? So back to where we are, where we've selected your latest post and we're going to press save and publish. All right, now let's look at the change that's taken place on our site by going to that tab and refreshing. All right, so looking cool so far. Um, we have the standard WordPress Hello World post. I added a Hello World Again post. And now we're going to see how to actually set up this scrolling header. So what I'm going to do first is add a blog post that, that has a an image that's about the same width and height of their sample images here, OK? Let me close down a few extra tabs that we don't need. All right. So I've just gone to add a new post, which you can do by post, rolling a mouse over post and then pressing add, pressing add new, or by rolling a mouse over new and going to post, okay? So I'm going to do a new one called Books Are Awesome. Let's just paste in some dummy text to give it some content. And then what I'm going to do to try and get this image to show up, the preview image, is actually add something called a featured image. So if you scroll down, you're going to press set featured image. And what I'm going to do is just upload something that is about the width and height of the image on the site, preview site. So I've made a quick little thing called books site here. I'm going to upload this image because it's the right size. It's about 642 pixels by 291 pixels. Okay. You'd want to change the title and the alt text for SEO purposes and then press set featured image. Okay, so now I have text, you can add images and all that kind of stuff in your post, and now I have a featured image. The last thing I'm going to do is select show in slideshow. 
under slideshow options, okay? This is a feature that is particular to this site theme so that the slideshow shows up. And then I'm gonna press publish. Now that we've published this post, let's go back to our live site and see if that change has taken effect by refreshing it. And indeed, here we go. Here's my image, here's the books are awesome, and then the text, okay? And so if we were to select this, my books are awesome post would come up. Let's go back to the home page. So what you can do to get multiple posts in your slideshow is just create more posts and remember to set a featured image of the right size and click show in slideshow before you publish or update it, okay? So you can set up many slides that way. Now, the last thing we want to look at is how to modify this footer. For this, you're going to have to get into the code a little bit. Don't worry, it's nothing ridiculous. So what we're going to do is roll our mouse over appearance and then select editor. What this does is takes us to a lot of the code that is behind our WordPress website. We are specifically looking for a document called footer.php, and this is where we'll be able to modify the footer. Okay, so for example, right now, this says copyright 2010, and it's 2014. So we're going to change the 2010 to 2014. You can see that this footer.php is a very short document. This is the whole thing. Okay, so I've changed that to 2014. This code here basically means that it is going to output whatever you've put as your blog name okay for the copyright so what I'd recommend is naming your site something that you want to show down here so for me for example I titled my site WordPress tutorials by Regina so that's what it's gonna plug in there and you can see that it made it a link and this link is back to my site so if you want to change that you could actually erase this whole line of code and replace it with what you want but I do recommend leaving the link there and just naming your blog the correct thing. You'll notice that the site theme has a little credit piece designed by WP Shower down here. And it has powered by WordPress down here. You can certainly leave that. I don't know if that is part of their requirements of using the theme to leave that. To leave that, you would definitely want to check before deleting it. Um, but this line of code right here, this paragraph, um, that says credits, designed by, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. That is the line of code that is outputting that thing on the right. And so I'm just going to test this by deleting it and then updating the file. And let's see if we hopefully didn't break our WordPress website. So I'm going to go back to my tab and refresh. And you'll notice that my 2014 has taken place and this is gone. If you want to erase Powered by WordPress, you would do the same thing by finding that line of code, uh, which is begins at the span, Powered by WordPress, and ends with this closing span tag. I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and again, I'm going to update the file. And anytime you update code, you just want to check and make sure you didn't break your website, so to speak, so I'm going to refresh and our power by WordPress is gone. Okay, so now we just have the 2014 copyright for whatever your site name is, all rights reserved, okay? So that's how you modify the logo, the site title, which we did in the back end under the customized tab, the slider images, and then lastly, the footer, okay? Have fun with the site theme, it's an awesome theme.